minute to tea. This is what God is saying. Listen to this. That there are two resurrections. The better resurrection is what we want to, what we're looking for. That's going to happen very soon. The better resurrection, which is at the beginning of the millennium. At the end of the millennium, everybody comes up. That's what Mark was referring to. He said to Jesus, oh, we're all coming up in the last day. We're all coming up. Hey. Referring down the bottom end of the millennium. This millennium. Oh. There's a company of people that are coming up in the beginning of the millennium. They're in that company. Hallelujah. Put my foot there. Put my hand on there. And I'm going to step in there. Can you risk an amen? amen. Yeah, yeah. So, what got me is in Revelation 12. That this Father's said word sits inside of me. Christ fulfilled it. That's why it was able to come to me. And now the Father's said word that Christ fulfilled is working in me. Paul said, until Christ be formed in you. So there is a becoming one with this Christ to the level of maturity of sonship in total obedience. So if this journey in eternity started off with a language, <laughs> guess what? It'll always be a language. Let there be. And there was. And the Father is a speaking God. And his voice sits inside of your spirit, man. And when I understand what he says to me, I must speak what he says. And watch the power and the demonstration of his said word pass through me with understanding. To create or do what he sent his word through you to do. It will not come back to him void or empty-handed. It will produce. Why would it produce? Because Jesus already fulfilled. And so when it's spoken, every seed word of the Father carries its own life, its own time, and its own anointing, its own ability to perform what the intent of the word was released to do. Right? So, Holy Spirit, help me on this. So when I look at this here, in Revelations 12, it says that, verse 4, talking about the devil, he's, or his tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. So, inside of us, God is wanting God is wanting the the bridegroom which is the law of humility to find its way into the core of my soul the man of sin is removed then the woman of the suke or the womb is now cleansed there is a marriage that happens so now that the voice or the language of the father can be now cleanly birthed after the marriage are you hearing that? So what is going to be birthed? The Father's language. That's only given and understood to be expressed by a son. Because the son has already gone up into... Now see what it says here? And it says, And was ready to devour the child as soon as it was born. The devil wanted to abort the word. Just like in the natural abortion... So here in the spirit, the devil's nature is to abort the living word. Galatians said, Galatians say this, that you bite and devour one another. Be careful that you don't, you're not consumed of one another. To devour a child as soon as it was born, and she bore a man child who was to rule Divine. That's by her word and character. And then it says, And her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Caught up to God where? See, for a long time, yet yeah, mine just, it gets in the way a lot. And I've always thought that this child was going to be caught up to God outside of me, up there. It's not going to happen that way. 
It's in me. This word is going to be, it's come through. And now, once, it, once we find the, the marriage and it happens inside of me, suddenly the word inside of me is going to be credentialed. And it's going to be caught up to God. And to His throne. It means it's now, we now have the God-given rights to speak because it's now ascending back up. Now when we speak, we speak from this position. But it's going to pass through the earth to come back up to speak with spirit and with life. It's, that word has to be caught up to God. The language now, when, some, when you and I are caught up to God, it's, it's what was in us has now come to fruition. And it now ascends. <laughs> it ascends by rights up inside the Father. Now when it speaks, it speaks and he listens to the authority of God in the earth. And whatever and why ever God has chosen this process, only God knows some things. But I do know that a marriage is taking place inside of me where the law of humility becomes one with the law of submission and this whole area is now cleansed. My body is changed, but it gives birth to this language of the Father in all its maturity has now risen up. The, the man-child is the voice of the Father has now become mature in me. And it's only ever credentialed to be spoken by a son. It's the man-child, if you like, the status to speak the Father's language on his behalf. Manifestation is the, is the Son speaking what the Father has said. And create groans in travail, waiting for the sons to speak and complete what the Father has already said that Jesus fulfilled, that we have become the voice of the Father, His language to be spoken throughout creation. I didn't say just planet Earth, He says creation. Groans. And travails. Why travails? Because they are pregnant with who they are to become. Or what it is to become. And the sons will speak the rest of this father's language. What a great privilege. Jesus has turned up, fulfilled it, and put the father's finished language. My sister says the polished language of the father. It's all about his language. It's about the father's language. And if you're hearing the teaching... It made sense, like in my mind, because the word understanding means son. And the son is the only one that will understand the father's language. And that gives him the right to speak. Isn't God good? Now, I know I've taken a bit of time tonight. But I know that in God, there's much to be said. And when we read, let me finish now, when we read, when it says to the overcomer, I'll give him to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God, he will not suffer the second death, he will eat of the hidden manna, he will receive a white stone and a name carved in there, he will also sit with me on my throne, the Bible says, he will rule the, rod of the, you know, the nations with the rod of iron, all of those things are to the overcomer, to the overcomer, he just got caught up, that's what happened to him. The seven churches to the overcomer. That's the, the to the overcomer. He just got born. The, the man child just got caught up right there. The overcomer is the he got caught up to eat all that and rule with him. Oh, can you hear this? Precious Lord. So what happens is that the Lord is giving us a progressive understanding step by step back into his presence as to where we, where we came out of and what Adam failed to do, Christ fulfilled it that we might become what the Father always intended for us to be. Amen? 
Amen and amen. Well, every Wednesday night, Prophet Roy and I try to share that pulpit a little bit. I'm just going to give a couple of minutes to my brother. You got something you want to... That's in your spirit or... You right? All right, you're right. You're right. If he's right, I'm right. Everybody's right. We're all right. So, this week is going to be a good week. Amen? And I... I, can't, some, I cannot explain sometimes what I see. It's only little glimpses, but I know it's true. People of God, you are destined. If you're watching my live stream, you are destined to come into your, into your full inheritance as a son. That you might have the language of God that goes back to God credentialed for you to speak on his behalf. Amen? Amen? Uh, can I just say one more little thing? Just one little tweak there. It comes from the spirit world. It has to pass through your understanding that you know what you're saying. It happens like that. And you speak it with authority. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for tonight. I thank you for the patience of all these that are listening, Lord, because sometimes our mind can get busy. We need to slow down people. And Lord, you're taking us on a journey. And we know, Lord, that as every day passes and things that we see in here, you're leading us precept upon precept, line on line, to bring us into a greater understanding of what's inside of us. Not only the finished work of Christ, but the finished work of the Father's said word. Completed in us that we might grow into it. So Lord... Continually talk with us so we can speak this language and be a son. We ask this in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. And thank you for those who bought this new board. I really enjoyed it. Mm, brand new. Am I the first one to use it? This one here. Yes. <laughs> hey, bless you. Let's just go. And. Um, yeah, say hello to our two sisters here that have come a long way from Israel. Uh, what town, sisters? Yeah. That's good. No. Spiritual Israel. <laughs> Might go there one day. Amen. Yes, God bless you.